Hey everybody, it's Molly with All Ears and I'm here today with an all new video. Today we are talking about snacks, the best snacks to be specific. There are so many delicious eats and treats at Epcot, so what do you pick? Today we're gonna be going over five of the best snacks in all of Epcot. I hope you're ready, I hope you're hungry. Let's get snacking. The first snack on our list is the only one to call Future World home, and that is gourmet popcorn from the special popcorn cart that there's only one of in the whole park. And all of Disney World as far as I know. But it's located here in Future World across from the Imagination Pavilion. Sometimes it's moved around, but usually you can find it right here. And when I say gourmet popcorn, they do have classic popcorn, but they've got extra flavors that you can only get here. Cheddar cheese, buffalo blue cheese, and sour cream and chive. You can mix them all in one. You can mix two of them. You can mix in regular popcorn if you want. You could get just one flavor. Get crazy with it. But I'm telling you, this popcorn is the bomb.com. I like to get them all in one container, but if you don't like hot things, maybe skip the buffalo blue cheese and just mix the other two, but you really can't go wrong. They have regular popcorn containers here, which right now are the super cute Mary Blair style popcorn container. Or the best part is you can refill your popcorn bucket here for the $2 and you can get any of the fancy flavors. It's truly magical. The gourmet popkin can be a snack credit. You can see it right there, $6.25 for a carton of this. Very shareable, good use of a snack credit. You could also use a snack credit to refill your popcorn bucket, but I never recommend that because it's only $2, so it's better to just pay that out of pocket. Just look at that beautiful collection. They do a good job of like mixing it in the bucket so it's not just cheddar and then just buffalo and then just sour cream. They like to mix it up. But look how beautiful it is. And also, let's talk about how adorable this Mary Blair, who's the Imagineer, the artist behind It's a Small World and the Big Mural and the Contemporary, this Mary Blair style inspired popcorn carton is. Wow, this is just great. I'm so excited about this because popcorn's one of my favorite snacks ever, plus flavored popcorn even better. I just love it. And I just love this container and I'm genuinely very happy right now. All right. But enough chit chat. What are the flavors like? Let's try them one by one. First up, sour cream and chive. Hmm. Kind of reminds me of like ranch or like a sour cream and onion potato chip. That's the vibe I get going there. Pretty mild, nothing too crazy. Cheddar cheese. Yeah, that tastes like delicious cheesy popcorn. And finally, buffalo blue cheese. Mm, that one's my favorite. Definitely a little hot, like buffalo sauce, but it's not overwhelming unless you eat like all of it. Ooh, yep, there's a little bit of the heat. It's not too much, but if you don't like spicy at all, maybe don't get that one. But what happens when we put them all together in one bite? Fireworks, 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 culinary delight is what happens. Mm. This is just so much fun. I love this. I think it's a great savory snack here in Epcot that you can only get here. Definitely shareable. Good use of a snack credit. And I love that you can fill your bucket with it. So win, win, win on the gourmet popcorn. This gourmet popcorn isn't the only special popcorn you can fill your bucket with at Epcot. In the Canada Pavilion, they've got their signature maple popcorn, which is kind of like a kettle corn adjacent flavor. And you can also put that in your popcorn bucket. But I wanted to definitely highlight this one. So we got some little savory on the list because there's a lot of sweetness. But basically what I'm saying is Epcot's the place to be for popcorn. You know if we're doing a list of the best snacks in Epcot, then something in France is gonna make the video. In fact, when I was talking about this with my team, I literally just wanted to go pick out five things and lay all the bakery in France, and that was gonna be the whole video. But they told me I wasn't allowed to do that. So instead I'm doing nothing from Lay Hall, and I'm going next door to the ice cream shop. I kind of figured Lay Hall is more of a quick service place, and this is more focused on snacks. So we're going next door to Le Artisan de Glaces, which I cannot say, and I apologize for that, but I do not apologize for showing you the best ice cream in Walt Disney World. Let's go. They have 
all different flavors in here. Some classic, some a little more adventurous. Your classics include things like vanilla and chocolate and mint chocolate. Your more adventurous, you can look at things like a cinnamon caramelized apple and crumble crunch, coffee, coconut white chocolate, and then they also have a few different sorbet flavors if you're more of a sorbet person, and some macaron ice cream sandwiches. When selecting your ice cream, you can get just a single or a double scoop. It'll come in a waffle cone or a cup, and the single scoop is a snack credit, or they've got different macarons. That can be a snack credit. They've got a croque glace, which I think I'm kind of saying right, which is when they take a scoop of your ice cream of choice and a sauce, caramel, raspberry, or chocolate, and they put it in a bun, making it a little sandwich. They've also got some adult beverages. Yes. I went with the croque glace, which again, I can't say, which means it's a warm brioche bun. And then they put a scoop of my favorite ice cream in there, which is the coconut white chocolate. And I've talked to several cast members and they all agree it's the best flavor. Oh, it's so amazing. And then I picked the raspberry sauce at the advice of my cast member. And it's all in there in a warm, gooey ice cream deliciousness. And I can't wait to bite into it. I'm literally giddy about biting into this and also, I'm gonna make a mess, but y'all are used to that by now, I hope. Oh my God. Look at that. Mm. That coconut white chocolate ice cream is not only the best ice cream at Disney World, it's probably the best ice cream I've ever had, ever in my whole life. Hold on, I'm losing my wrapper. Crisis averted. But seriously, I don't know how they, I mean, it's just so good. You do have to be a coconut person to like that, but, oh. Mm. It's that. Mm. A brioche bun is delicious on its own. Ice cream is delicious on its own. And you're putting them together, you got a hot cold thing going, you got some sweet from that strawberry sauce. Mm. I know I'm such a delicate eater, but y'all, this is so good. If you just get a scoop of ice cream there, it's so good. I'm, ugh, it's just amazing. Like I said, I love anything that you can find to eat in the France Pavilion. I want to eat it. It's delicious. You can't go wrong. But as much as I love the Lay All Bakery, that's my quick service location of choice. And if you're looking for just a snack, you got to go to Artisan Dick Glasses, Lake Glasses. I can't say it. I'm so sorry. But you clearly saw how delicious it was. <laughs> Another great snack at Epcot is in the Japan Pavilion at this little kiosk that you'll find as you're walking from the American Adventure into Japan. It's the first thing you'll see, and they've got a bunch of good stuff. They've got sushi, they've got sake, but what we're talking about today is Japanese shaved ice, which is called kakigori, and it's a really great value. It's only $4.50, and it's huge, and they've got a ton of different flavors. So, obviously, we're getting one right now, because would this be a video if I didn't eat the snacks? I'm going to eat the snack. Here is my Japanese shaved ice. I went with strawberry and tangerine and I got it topped with the sweetened condensed milk because that's what the cast member recommended. But you can do rainbow, you can do any mix of flavors. You don't have to get the milk on top. And look how big this cup is. That's pretty sizable for only $4.50 plus a dollar for the milk or a snack credit. Mmm. Mm. I'm so glad she recommended tangerine because that is delicious. And that sweet condensed milk on top is the business. That is so good. Mm. I love that. I 
good without the milk though too if you're not a, a milk person. I'm gonna eat it like this now. Mm, the strawberry is really good too. This is one adults and kids are gonna really enjoy. Plus, when it's a bajillion degrees out, a little shaved ice, easily share between two people, carry it as you walk from place to place. Well done. Well done, Japan. Our next must-have snack in Epcot comes to us from the German Pavilion. Now there's lots of delicious savory things here. You could get a giant pretzel, you could get a bratwurst, but for me, nothing as delicious as the sweet caramel treats in the caramel kush, which means caramel kitchen. Mm, I wish she could smell through my phone right now. Any caramel treat your heart desires, you could find it here. Caramel apples, cookies, fudge. They've got a cupcake. They've got caramel flights that have booze in them. Caramel and chocolate covered fruit. More apples. I mean, just, you can't go wrong in here. And just about everything is a snack credit. How he's doing that with like this crazy spoon that's got caramel holes so then it drizzles on in multiple lines. That's so cool. He was doing that with cookies earlier too. There's a million treats in there and I know I already ate popcorn but I couldn't resist because this is the best of the best right here. The best caramel corn you'll ever have. But truly nothing in there can you go wrong but I wanted to show this one because it's seven dollars. It's a pretty sizable bag. It's a snack credit and it is divine. Got myself a big chunk. Mm. It's so delicious. It's so perfect. Mm. It's definitely incredibly sweet. So this is definitely shareable. Mm. I don't care what you get. A stop at the Caramel Kitchen, a must have for a great snack day at Epcot. Just like in France, I could have just picked five things in the Mexico Pavilion and that could have been the five best snacks in Epcot, but I'm obviously not doing that. I'm picking one thing and it's from this walk-up stand right here, Chosa de Margarita. They've got margaritas as well as some snacky items, which is why I picked that one, as opposed to the Cantina, which is the quick service location I love, or La Cava del Tequila, which is inside the tequila bar, because both of those are more formal restaurants and we're talking about snacks right now. So, vamos, we gotta go to the Chosa. For my Epcot snack of choice, I went with the barbacoa empanadas. They come with a side of street corn. They've got a delicious sauce and some crema and queso fresco on them. And boy, oh boy, am I jazzed. Mm, I'm so excited about these. Just look at that. Mm. 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 They are so good and so full of flavor. We've got barbacoa meat in there. If you're not a meat eater, they do have cheese empanadas at the cantina. Mm. But this barbacoa is so good. The sauce is zesty. It's got a little kick to it, but it's not too spicy. Mm. I love that crema on top. Mm. Those are so good. Now trying this corn. It's got some kind of creamy sauce going on. Mm. It's a little bit spicy, but not too bad. But man, oh man. $10, you get two of them and the corn. Definitely shareable. You could make a meal out of it, or you could split it with a few people, especially if you've got a big meal later. Mmm, that is so yummy. Well, that is a wrap on five of the best snacks that you can get here in Epcot. There is so much good food to eat, but those five will never steer you wrong. Let me know what your favorite snack is in Epcot in the comments. Let me know what you want to see next. In the meantime, friends, make sure to rate, review, subscribe to our channel, follow us on Instagram at All Ears Net. And until next time, y'all, I'm Molly, and it's been magical and very delicious. Want to see more of my videos? Click over here. Want to subscribe? You can do that right here. And also, ring that notification bell to make sure you get instantly notified anytime we post a new video. Thanks for following. See you real soon.